Hello, my name is Garabet Kazanjan. I'm an assistant professor at the American University of Armenia, and I'm an aquatic ecology researcher at the Agopian Center for the Environment. After decades of mismanaging the lake, by the 1960s, we had our first toxic algal blooms in Lake Sevan. At that time, because of excessive usage of the lake's water for agriculture, irrigation, and hydropower, the lake level had dropped by around 18 meters. Less uh, water volume meant that all the nutrients coming from the rivers into the lake had less water to dilute in and thereby increase the nutrient concentrations. Now algae had more nutrients to take up and grow faster. In the coming decades in, uh, uh, in Lake Sevan, we've seen the water uh, quality deteriorate even further. In the last few years, since 2018, algal blooms or intensive algal blooms have become commonplace. Since 2018, we've also had cyanobacterial blooms. Cyanobacteria are a specific type of blue-green algae, which are even worse because they contain a sort of a toxin, a cyanotoxin, which could be harmful for us if we swim in that water or if we swallow it by mistake. Cyanobacteria require three conditions to thrive. They need high concentrations of phosphorus, they need high concentrations of nitrogen, and they need very warm temperatures. Because of climate change, we've seen uh, temperatures rise in Armenia in the last few years. This is completely out of our control. It's a global phenomenon and we cannot control it. However, we can control the con concentrations of phosphorus and nitrogen in the water. So where do these nutrients come in to Lake Sevan? One of the biggest culprits is probably all the sewage water being dumped into the lake. All the villages and cities around Lake Sevan end up um, producing the, the sewage water and Lake Sevan receives them without any biological treatment. There are a few treatment facilities around the lake in the biggest three cities, Gavar, Vartenis and Marduni. However, these are only physical treatments. All of the organic waste ends up in Lake Sevan producing dead organic matter and a lot of nutrients. The second cause is the fertilizers that are being used in the agricultural fields around Lake Sevan. When the farmers put fertilizers in the soil and fertilizers are rich in nitrogen and phosphorus, the same two material which are responsible for driving plant growth, they are also responsible for algal growth in the water. So whenever we have an intense rainfall event or snow melt, the remaining of these fertilizers will leak and eventually will reach the lake water. So Sevan has um, seen a continuous increase in its lake water concentrations and this is driving all the algal blooms. So what is to be done now to mitigate and to stop the algal blooms? Like I already mentioned, temperature is not uh, something, a factor that we can control. However, we need to first-hand control the input of nutrients into the water. We need to build wastewater treatment facilities so that all the rivers are not bringing in the waste coming from the nearby cities and towns and we put in clean water into the lake and we need to regulate the agriculture around the lake better. In the last few years, since 2001, when the government decided to raise Lake Sevan's water level by six meters, We've also seen a lot of the nearby surrounding land, including forests, um, flood and go under the lake. These forests need to clean up. When the trees are flooded, they die and they start decomposing, thereby leaking all of their nutrients into the water. This in turn increases and the, the nutrient concentrations and deteriorates the quality of the water further. Here at the Agopian Center for the Environment and the American University of Armenia, we are uh, conducting research to better understand the eutrophication dynamics that, are, that we're seeing in Lake Sevan. And we are trying to figure out the best strategies to limit the algal blooms in the coming years to ensure the sustainability of the lake, its ecosystem, and all the services that the lake provides us with. And it has done over the last centuries. Thank you.